Hey guys, this is Prakash from Dudes and Tools. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, if you ever start hearing cracking sounds in your uh, engine or near your gear shift lever, then it's a sign that uh, your probably your chains uh, have worn out or the sprockets worn out. So in this video, I'm going to focus on changing your entire rear drive drain, that is the sprockets and the chain. So the bike I'm going to use to show you the process is a Yamaha FZS. So it's a pretty famous bike in India and almost 90% of the college students have this bike. Uh, they don't take care of it that much. I mean, I didn't take care of it when I was in college. That's why uh, I just told that. So you can apply this process to almost all bikes, Indian bikes. There may be some variations in uh, removing the pockets, but uh, mostly it's all the same. So let's get to it, shall we? And just so you know, if I sound tired in, in this video, it's because I've been uh, running a marathon. I just came after running a marathon. By marathon, I mean 5 kilometers, and by running, I meant just walking at a slow pace for 4 kilometers, and then just running the last 1 kilometer. Gear shift lever side of the vehicle, you first need to remove the drive sprocket cover. Remove the two bolts holding the cover using a 10 mm spanner. In this whole video, guys, I'm not gonna tell you the exact spanner sizes I used. Just find the one that fits you. When you remove the cover, you will see a grimy thing inside. That's how it's supposed to look. If you see that, then it's a definite sign that you're too lazy to clean the vehicle. Like me. Now if you do not frequently lube your chain, the rollers on the chain will not rotate freely and they will rub against the sprocket teeth and this will cause undercuts in the teeth. That's how my chain got damaged so much. You could see only the little pointy things in the place of uh, sprocket teeth. That's a serious damage. Okay, next thing, just hold the Hold one end of the axle bolt with the spanner and loosen the other end with another spanner. I've already removed the plastic mudguard bolts. There will be two on the left side and two on the right side. Rotating towards the bottom will loosen the bolt. Oh, I don't know about you guys but I have a very special set of skills a set of skills that I have acquired over a very long time and I'm gonna use these skills to get the bolt out yeah <laughs> that was crazy guys that was a reference from the movie uh, Taken starring Liam Neeson so let's see how I really got the bolt out Loosen the chain sprocket tightening, I mean chain tensioning nuts, the two, the two lock nuts given at the end of the swing arm and then remove the brake drum holding uh, bolt, the thing I am doing right now. After you do that you will be able to remove the chain, push the wheel forward and remove the chains, let it rest on the swing arm. Uh, remove the wheel spacers at the end and keep it in a safe place to remove the sprocket just swiggle it out there was not more much wear in the rear sprocket but when you change the sprocket or chain you have to change the whole set you have to change the drive sprocket you have to change the driven sprocket and you have to change the chain so that uh, you will not wear unevenly wear any single component Next, remove the swing arm nut on the right side of the vehicle. Just use the special set of skills that I imported to you earlier. These should be fairly easy to remove. 
on, on the whole build process i was actually uh, turning this uh, bolt in the wrong direction and almost worn uh, got the bolt heads worn out it's too close me actually to get the pedal sub frame out but first you got to remove three bolts that hold the pedal sub frame to the main frame and you also got to remove the gear lever i forgot to mention earlier just move the chain around a bit until you and you are able to get it out now clean the area as much as you can with the rug yes i am using a old underwear to clean the area the next thing we are going to do is the most i mean it's the most is the hardest part of this diy that is getting the drive sprocket washer bolt out it's very small i didn't have a box spanner i had to work with a open ended spanner and they toss me very hard to remove i almost spent an hour with this uh, removing the trying to remove this bolt i used wd40 i almost ground the thing to half before it it uh, slightly moved and came out now since i ground the bolt tie sprocket washer bolt uh, almost to its end i couldn't reuse it so if you uh, are able to remove it without damaging the bolt then you could obviously reuse it the list of things you will need for this whole replacement are the drive sprocket the driven sprocket the chain the drive sprocket washer and the bolt everything cost 1600 rupees in total now you can see the drive sprocket here the worn out drive sprocket I'll to show a comparison of what the new sprocket looked like that's a new sprocket you could see that uh, there is a lot of uh, wear in the the drive sprocket the old drive sprocket improper wheel alignment or non lubrication of the chain will cause this kind of damage just slide the drive sprocket back into the spline and then use the new or the or reuse the old washer to hold the drive sprocket doesn't matter what you use while you're at it just you could also just lubricate the swing arm bearings this is a very good chance to do it you'll not get another chance like this you will not dismantle the bike to this level in most in most cases and the swing arm bearings are mostly overlooked in any service there will be a little shake in the drive sprocket that's all right it's allowed next up remove the six nuts holding the driven sprocket to the wheel i can use a box spanner or a ring spanner do not use an open ended spanner there was not much wear but i replaced it anyway you got to replace the whole rear drive train every 30000 kilometers it's like it's good for the vehicle so in this build i didn't use the ring spanner earlier and i damaged almost all the bolts all the nuts i mean then i had to buy new ones to replace the old ones so here is the look of the old new drive train the new parts do look shiny let the vehicle run with the lubricant that came with the chain for a few hundred kilometers and then you could relubricate the chain get the tension right and you're good to go that's it guys just to keep looping your chain every 100 kilometers and you're good to go if you haven't watched my uh, engine oil change video i'll put down the link below just watch that if you want to change your engine oil of course so 
Uh, if you like this channel, do subscribe. If you do not, then please go find something that you do. YouTube is full of amazing people, guys.